Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the most interesting and intriguing content from around the world. The solar system's planets are orbited by more than 150 moons. And one of those moons is inhabited by Earth. According to one idea, the Earth collided with another early planet around 4.5 billion years ago, creating the moon. This collision's debris started to circle Earth and gathered, eventually producing the moon we see today, with a diameter little under China's breadth. The moon is the sixth biggest natural satellite in the solar system. It consists of an iron-rich core, a magnesium oxygen, and silicon-containing crust, and an iron-rich core. The moon's surface previously included an ocean of magma and was geologically active. Today, however, the surface is entirely covered with dust and stony debris with just a few patches of water ice remaining. The moon's surface is covered with many craters. Each was created by asteroids, meteoroids, and comets colliding with the moon. The South Pole Aitken Basin, the moon's biggest crater, covers one-fourth of its area and is almost deep enough to accommodate Mount Everest. The moon travels an average distance of 30 Earths around our Earth. It revolves and rotates simultaneously. The moon faces the Earth from the same side at all times as it circles around our planet. We can see the moon's eight distinctive, conventionally recognized phases of light from the surface of the Earth. They have been noted for many years and even served as the foundation for the first calendars. The moon could not have been observed up close during the most of human history. However, on July 20, 1969, the American spacecraft Apollo 11 allowed people to get closer to that point. It led to the first ever manned mission to the moon. Advancing our knowledge of the one and only natural satellite of Earth. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share.